or what does Netflix have available is really the question. Um, what is Halloween-y? Ooh, the Twilight Zone. That's kind of scary. Looking for something a little bit more lighthearted. Let's put the clerk's bride. All right, guys, I am gonna do another Halloween or Dollar Tree Halloween candy haul. I apologize for the lighting, the sun is coming through. See, I said on the Corpse Bride, so I've got a Halloween y movie going on. I'm not really dressed in Halloween. I am so busy, as most of you know, so I am just filming in what I'm wearing because right after this video, I'm gonna go do some jogging because the weather is beautiful outside. And I want to take advantage of that before it gets too cold. I have to go like to a gym and run on a treadmill. But I have only one bag of candy. Let's go ahead and jump in, take a look at what I got. Okay, so who remembers when I hauled these last year? Was it last year? I think so. The Blood Bites. And you get these little packets. You get the teeth, the vampire teeth. And then you get these little like packets of what looks to be a thick gel of candy. So immediately brush your teeth after you eat this. Showing you the, the blood going in your mouth, which is kind of disgusting. And the character is a very edgy vampire who's into blood. Um, I don't know what to say about it. You get eight in here. So it looks like there's a lot of candy, but essentially you're getting a set of teeth and then your blood, whether you're O negative, AB positive, I don't know. I don't think that we're informed of the blood type in here. So I hope you're not picky. Okay, this is a repeat from last year as well. I remember these because they're called Bon Bon Boom, and I remember that name. And two, um, these are the ones that make your like tongue black or something, and you get black grape and black cherry and you get 13 in here and these are actually pretty delicious my daughter is very much like i want i want the reese's and the snickers and the chocolate you know in our candy bowl and i just love some good old lollipops they also have another regular set this one again same company same lollipop but you it's regular i don't think that your tongue is black so you get strawberry, blackberry, blue raspberry, and red grape. I assume your tongue does change to that color because that's every lollipop, right? And you get 13 here as well. And on both of those, you do get a bubble gum at the center. And they had like the Tootsie Pop, which I love. Those are actually really good. If you're really bored and you like have, that's the only candy you have for whatever reason, that ends up being like the most delicious candy. Anyone ever experience that where you there's nothing left to eat but then whatever you find is like so delicious because at that point you'll eat anything um that's how i feel about tootsie roll pops they had those at dollar tree i just didn't go for them because i felt like there wasn't enough in the bag for a dollar it's one of those candies where i'd rather go to walmart and you get a big bag for a better value so here are some dum-dums you get uh, that's a brand name, obviously. You get how many? Over 20. It's odd that they just say over 20. So what does that mean? Is one bag 21? Is one bag 22? I find that very interesting that there's not like an exact number. So I, I want to open this and see how many I have in here. But these are dum-dums and they're really fun and you know, um, a great filler candy. I do still think Dum Dums would probably be better off at Walmart because they really sell those in like huge bags for hardly anything. All right, then I found a um, 
gummy rings. 16 pieces and the this packaging is like the sister packaging to the one I hauled last week for you guys or the week before whatever with the monster gummies. So if you didn't watch my first 2017 Halloween candy haul, I'll link it at the end of this video. And the packaging for the monster gummies were exactly identical to this, except as you can see, these are gummy rings. I don't... So you can see that one. This one kind of looks like that right there, which is kind of creepy and scary, but I guess that's the point. All right, then I just found some Halloween pops. It says artificially flavored across it, and you get 20 pieces in here. Kind of hard to see but essentially they're just white and orange. Let's see. Yeah, so here, oops. they are individually wrapped. So the pumpkin, which is really cute, especially if you're having like a party, this would be like really cute candy to display. And then you get the skeleton. Oh my God, so cute. So these are kind of like little show pieces for like parties, which I really like. Tree haul. I hauled those cute little Halloween baggies and I'm thinking what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to take the Dollar Tree candy and I'm going to uh, sort them into those little goodie bags and then I'll hand out the little bags to the trick-or-treaters. So I thought that would be cute. And you know why I'm going to do that? Because, girl, I am weak when it comes to handing out candy to those little kids because they, they intimidate me. They look at me like, lady, you better give me two handfuls of candy or I know where you live. Does anyone else just panic and just, you just a whole, a whole handful and you dump because you're afraid of the kid? And what's funny is before Halloween starts, I'll tell myself, you're only going to give everyone three pieces of candy and that never ever happens. Then I found some, another set of mini pops. It's like a lollipop themed um, haul here. You get 35 in here. Charms, why do I feel like Charms is a brand that's been around for a while? All right, the last two bags are basically a repeat, but I'm gonna do it because I literally loved that lollipop so much. And I guess I'm going to call this a lollipop haul, honestly, because it's pretty much all lollipops. I didn't do that on purpose, but I hauled these in my last video. It is the Chupa Choo Choops, Chupa Choops um, lollipops, but I'm all about this Coca-Cola lollipop. It's so delicious. It's out of this world to me. Comment down below and let me know if you have tried the Coca-Cola and tell me what you think. I want to see how many of you have tried it and love it as much as I do. Um, this says gluten-free, peanut-free, fat-free. Uh, but I got these because I wanted more of those Coca-Cola pops. And I don't feel like I see this candy year-round at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to check it out after a couple months after Halloween and see if they're selling these. But I don't know if they're around year round. So basically I'm trying to store up on my Coca-Cola lollipops. I found these. These are a mini version of this bag, but you get 22 in here and 19 in here, but these are a smaller edition. Okay, I had no idea that was gonna turn into a lollipop haul, but that's basically it for this video. So what I'm going to do now to add more to it, because I just didn't find that much candy, I'm going to go grab my Dollar Tree little cute goodie bags that I hauled from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put all of this candy together. I'm even going to combine the candy from the last video, although there's not that much left of it. And um, we'll put that candy together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to go ahead and put the candy together. Bye guys.